Hi, I'm Ellie, and in this video, we're going to recap how you can help pupils understand what happens when they're dividing large numbers by 10, 100, and 1,000. So, with division of numbers by 10, 100, and 1,000, you really want to have a place value chart to hand. There are obviously lots of other practical resources you might use. You might have um, cubes and you can have base 10 to help reinforce the concept. But let's start here with our place value chart. Now, you want to link it to multiplication. If pupils have been working on multiplying by 10, 100, and 1,000, they would have seen that when we time something by 10, it moves a space to the right. For example, if I have the number 2, if I multiply that by 10, my 2 moves to the tens column and I put a 0 in here as a placeholder in the ones column. So 2 times by 10 becomes 20. Now, you want to link that understanding to division. So pupils need to understand that when they're dividing by 10, 100, and 1,000, the inverse is happening. So rather than the digits moving to the right, they're actually going to move to the left. So we can start with a nice, um, easy example of this. So let's begin with um, the number 9,000. Before you get the pupils to divide it, you might just want to recap the value of each of those digits so that they understand that this 9 here represents 9,000. Again, you could use your base 10 to help represent the size of that number. So to begin with, if I want to divide my number here by 10, you need your pupils to understand that this is going to move one space to the right. You then might ask them, so is that my number? Is it nine by itself? What else do I need to do? And hopefully pupils will rec recognise that they need to put in a zero as a placeholder in the tens and the ones column. Then when we move on to dividing by a hundred, pupils need to understand that the digits move two spaces to the right. And you can reinforce this understanding by explaining that as well as dividing by 100, you're dividing by 10 and then by 10 again. So if I divide by 9,000 by 100, my 9 moves two places over and goes into the tens column. So 9,000 divided by 100 is 90. And then the last step we're going to go to in this video is dividing by 1,000. So as you can see, you see this pattern and hopefully pupils will start to understand what's happening. The digit's going to move three spaces to the right this time, so it's going to come down into our ones column. So 9,000 divided by 1,000 is 9. So hopefully by using the place value chart and getting pupils to understand that digits move to the right when you're dividing, that will really help to develop those skills which are so useful when they go on to dividing other large numbers.